Amazing. It is March 28th, 2022, and it's day 15. And the day ended wonderfully. Um, I didn't back into anything. <laughs> So I worked all day, long day at work, got some stuff done, actually had some, got a little work on the business done at lunchtime. So pop, 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 doing them all. And my friend, um, Toby, who's the GM here, he worked it out. I talked about this yesterday. So we take a toy hauler. Turns out that's just about the exact same height as the travel trailer that I'm calling in and the same length, 25 feet. Um, this one, but has you know you can you can put cars in it. They've had cars in it. They've had uh, a Nissan truck and stuff like that. So it was empty today. So empty, it probably was about 5,000, 5,000 5, pounds. So lighter than what my trailer today would be, but at least the size and everything was good. And so we we took it out just a little bit of a loop on the road. I wasn't that interested in. So I used to have a horse hauling. I wasn't that interested in driving far or, or and far fast, I wanted to do back. So we went into this big area that's just been cleared out so people can go and walk along the whole high of the, it's like a nature walk that runs um, from closer to the Puget Sound all the way down across up into the mountains. So that's pretty cool. So we went there, had lots of tarmac to ourselves, big cement, um, like, like a gigantic Jersey barrier sort of things on the edge of it. And he's grabbing, you know, big sticks that I put down for the tree and marking lanes. He says, okay, this is your campsite. You <laughs> and he was doing them to, you know, um, the easy side, which is your left, your back. And then he said, no, nope, this one's the only one left. You got to go to the right. Um, and it was cool because it's, um, it's been probably at least 30 years or more because um, I had started my horse hauling company when I was 17, 16 and a half, 17. Um, and I may have driven some trailers maybe into my mid-20s, but 50, so 30, 30 years, 35 years anyways, since I've driven one, certainly, certainly since I've backed one up, where it had to go precisely between these things and... I did great. <laughs> I did. I did go. You know, I didn't have to pull forward and rejigger a bunch of times, and I didn't run Toby over. <laughs> I didn't run into the things that I was backing into, and you know, a couple of these camping spaces he made were skinny ones. Um, one of the things that was very interesting. This has a backup assist on the truck, but I. I hadn't had any cause to use it. You, in other words, you can use the dial as if you're turning the trailer. You take your hands off the steering wheel and you do it. And it's actually quite fascinating the way that you have certain reflective stickers and the truck triangulates everything with the trailer and the tongue height and the, and the axle depth and all that kind of stuff. Um, but you have to set that up. So we tried to just say okay to what it was, and but it was looking for these special stickers that were there, and we found them. You know, they're in the manual, and everything, but we didn't want to put them on. So I took that as a sign to say, nope, don't use this cool gizmo. A friend here says it's cheating, but that's really cool that you have that. Um, so I did all of these maneuvers just the old-fashioned way, and the side view mirrors are not. You know, built for a rig, and this uh, toy hauler is either the same width or a little bit wider than what I would be getting because it would have a slide. Um, so there are times where I can, in my backup camera in the truck, I can see the trailer, and that's it. I can't see on either side of it. My mirrors even even angled out as far as the glass will go. So basically, it was just cranking around, either cranking the truck around enough so that I could just catch a glimpse of the stick that he, so these are just branches laid on the ground on the tarmac in the, you know, six o'clock in the evening to the light. Um, found those and then 
I had muscle memory kick in because a lot of it is, you know, this wax on, wax off when you back up, you move one way and move the other. Um, anyways, it was very cool because there was absolutely no, nothing but I got this within my whole body and mind and heart, um, backing up, driving, um, going on little tiny roads, you know, over a thing, kind of mimicking if you're trying to get off the highway and going to um, a campground. You know, how are you going to get these lanes navigate? You have to watch poles. And we didn't go to a gas station, but um, we did all that. And then when we got back, you know, we had a couple more tests. You know, we pulled forward and had to back up straight to a tree. And you know, so pick a spot and make it like that's a brick wall on that side and you have to clear it. And then um, the last one was pretty cool to put it back where we where we took it from next to all the big um, big horse haulers. Um, he left the block chuck where the where the um, the hitch rests on. Um, you know you crank it up and rests on that. And there's this very cool I've never seen it before. It's like a it looks kind of like a you could use it as a wheel chuck but it's designed so that you can back your trailer, one of your wheels of the trailer up on it, which suspends the other tire so you can change your tire without cranking up thing. And so I will definitely figure out where I can get those and get me one of those. Um, but he left them exactly where they were when he left. So when I drove out, I drove over, you know, cleared because it was right down the center. And he said, okay, well, that's where you were when you left. You've got to back it in in perfect alignment to be in the, so that the trailer hitch can go down right where the block is sitting. And so that, you know, you can, your, your back end is square and straight. And, and oh, don't hit that. <laughs> this is <Lindo. laughs> Horse trailer, right? Um, so that took a, a little bit of correction, but not much. And he did, he did move the, the cool thing I mentioned, the little black block where you can drive up on. He just moved that back about this much, you know, so I, I should have been right in line with it. And it was a little bit outside, maybe about four or five inches, um, just because the, the back end of the trailer was a little catwalk. But on that, I said, well, I'll take it. Yeah, pretty good. So it was fun. And I'm, it was sunny. and um, there was no rush doing it. We had to wait a little because the owner stopped by his office. I had to wait a little because the owner stopped by his office, but I spent the time in the truck going into my high heart and combination there. So that was lovely. And I'm, I love those who, who have joined me here. Um, feel into it. You feel, see what you feel, but I took all of the, the nice sunny day and and the ease of this doing it, and actually that the fact that the special backup gizmo wouldn't work so that I had to do all of this just on my muscle memory and remembering from 30 some, well, from 58 and it was 17, so 30 some odd years ago, um, with nothing in between then and now. Um, and I did good. So. Anyways, that's how I'm going to end my day. But oh, what I would like you to check in is if do you concur that maybe energetically or just hearing it, if you feel that that this is a happy, I mean, I take it as a happy sign um, that whenever my travel trailer shows up, I got this. I can do it. And yes, when I get to a camp, the first campsite, the first night, and everybody's in their lawn chairs and they're kind of watching the new one pull in. I had to laugh the first backing up I started to do across from this there is a neighbor's dog and right when I was starting to back up to maneuver to turn into the, the you know, camping spot that he he made and I knew because it was the very first time in 30 some years I knew I had over corrected a little so I paused and the dog across the street was like going you know as if jeering from the camps <laughs> from the campground okay Here's a new the newbie trying to do this. Um, but it was good. So I'm going to take a little break and do some more tuning in. And then I'm going to get back to the long list of um, starting to figure out how to pack um, with, with the smallest configuration in mind.
just to be safe because it's easier I can spread out but I it's hard to pack again and again and again down so I'm going to start with that and tune in to all of you and all the fun joy that you bring me and I did it <laughs> happy day 15 I love you